All right, let's turn our attention to our third and final stock. Uh, Todd, this one for me, um, there was so much riding on this stock. The company is uh, Insight, ticker symbol INCY. And really, it's not so much the stock that's scary, it's what happened earlier this year with a drug that literally every investor had been watching, especially those that have been following the uh, cancer immunotherapy space. So they have their had their lead drug a packet of stat and essentially what they were attempting to do is to see if they could take this drug and combine it with big players like Merck's Keytruda or Bristol Myers Squibb and Obdivo and combine these drugs to really kind of have the um, the the combination effect of added efficacy by joining these drugs together but what we saw though in the trials was that wasn't exactly the case and things just started to fall apart. Todd, what can you tell us about that? Yeah, I think, Shannon, the IDO inhibitor should have been called uh-oh inhibitors. <laughs> Fair <laughs> enough. <laughs> um, yeah, they, there was a ton of excitement um, in you know go, leading up to the trial results that came out earlier this year. The IDO, IDO inhibition could be could be done alongside of um, you know some of these other immuno checkpoint therapies that had been so successful in oncology. And you know that's the PD ones and the PDL ones that we've talked about in the show in the past, and matching these two up with slightly different mechanisms of action to be able to really allow the immune system to go out, find these cancer cells, and destroy them. And you know there was there was some early data that looked really really encouraging. As a matter of fact, it was so encouraging, Shannon, that Insight basically you know jumped the shark. They uh, you know they went out and they started up a ton of late stage trials combining um, their drug with Keytruda, which is Merck's PD-1, to see whether or not you know they could reshape how we treat various cancers. I think they went into um, the bad news with, uh, I, I want to say, like I had it written down earlier, I think it was like eight or something like that, different late stage registration ready studies and, you know, exiting the trial where it, it came up short and didn't, didn't, it just didn't work. It didn't work in melanoma, metastatic melanoma. They ended up having to ratchet back that program almost entirely. I think they still have a couple lung cancer trials that are going on in combination with Keytruda, but they even downgraded those from from registration studies to uh, phase two mid-stage studies. So, you know, just, just really bad news all around for um, patients and investors who are excited about the IDO space and uh, shockwaves too, Shannon, that, that cut across to different companies. I mean, Bristol-Myers abandoned their IDO program after the news was reported, uh, um, and there was another company, New Link, who's working IDO inhibitors. Um, they they're you know trading at like two dollars a share now. At one point, they were a fifty dollars stock. Yeah, and it was actually it was I think eighteen IDO combo trials going on at the time, um, and really insights. IDO inhibitor was the furthest along. So the read through to the industry was just tremendous. And there was so much hope going into the space. Uh, matter of fact, um, a packet of stat was at one point number three on Evaluate Pharma's top 10 list of 2018 launches with uh, projected close to $2 billion in peak sales. So there was a lot riding on this. Um, with that being said, though, this of the three stocks, I think Insight was probably best prepared to have these setbacks. As you know, being a biopharma investor, um, no matter how encouraging early stage data looks, oftentimes when you get to these bigger trials, things just don't work out. Um, but really, I think Insight has thankfully approved products that are blockbusters and can actually lessen the blow of what happened with this drug. I think out of all these these three drugs that we, companies that we just talked about, this is one, this one's most likely <clears throat> best positioned to to bounce back and and regain some of that ground. I mean, it does have a pipeline, uh, it does have products on the market right now, including the blockbuster Jacophy. Um, so I mean, it, it can withstand that hit. It's disappointing though, and obviously, you know, having your shares cut in half in the span of a few months is is never something that investors want to see. Um, so we'll have to see where we go from here. Uh, with this company, there is some co competition coming from Celgene and Fidratinib um, potentially as soon as late next year. So we're going to want to keep an eye on that as well. 